stop. Yes, a stop loss. If you've been following me for any bit of time now, you know how much I stress that traders use them with every single trade. If you're new here, my name is Robert Roy and I'm the founder of WealthBuildersHQ.com where we teach traders technical strategies to build their wealth by trading the financial markets. Now, I've been trading and using TradeStation to, for options trades for over 20 years now. And in this video, instead of reminding you to use stop losses, I'm going to show you exactly how to set them up for your options trades. Now, before we get started, let me quickly recap what a stop loss is. So think of the word stop loss. To me, the way I explain it to a student is stop losing me any more money. You bought a stock when it was $10. You said, you know what? If it goes down to nine, I want to get out. You put a stop loss in place. If the stock moves down, it hits that level. It's going to trigger an order and that position will be sold. It doesn't guarantee you're selling at that price, but it guarantees you will get out of that trade. So you might get out a little bit lower, possibly a little bit higher. Uh, but we don't want to use another type of an order called a stop limit, which says only get me out at that price. Because if it gaps through your price and keeps running, you will never be taken out of that trade. You'll come back an hour or a day later and see your stock is down two, three, four, five dollars from where it was. With that in mind, let's jump over to TradeStation. And I will walk you through an example on how to set it up. And I'm using TradeStation 9.5 right now on this computer, but TradeStation 10 works just about the exact same way. What I've done is I've already gone in and purchased an option. So we kind of got that out of the way and I put one in our order bank so we could use that to go set the stop up on that position. So I have a chart of Apple up here right now. And as I said just a moment ago, I went ahead this morning and purchased an option just to get that done so that we could go ahead and just go set the order up as a stop on it. And what I did was it didn't matter the direction of where the market was going today. This is not about picking the right stock and right direction. This was about how to set a stop. So I went ahead and bought a call option on Apple for multiple reasons. But number one, more traders understand and use calls than do puts. So I figured just let's go ahead and utilize a call regardless of what the market's doing, regardless of what Apple is doing. We're just going to set it up and use it as an example so you can learn how to do that for yourself as well. So I want to go ahead and bring up the option that we just purchased for Apple and I go over to the open orders and that Apple order is still loaded in there because it's all I have in here and it is highlighted. Okay, so that Apple option is listed right there. Now, if I just said, you know what, I want to be out of this trade right now, no ifs, ands, or buts, that would just be a market order and I would get out of that trade. But here's the thing. I'm not setting that up that I can walk away from it. That would be me sitting here, hitting enter, getting out of the trade right now. Instead, instead we want to go in here and we want to set up what is called a stop market. And that says, stop me out at whatever the market price is when you hit my target, when you hit my price. Right, so we're going to set a stop market and we're going to do it on the Apple option itself. And let's say we bought the option here. Our cost was $2.32. Let's say that I want to set my stop up on this for $1.75. So we've already got it loaded. Stop market, intelligent order, good till cancel. Right, and I'm going to put this in at 1.75. Right, this is all set. Now you've got some pre made buttons here buy to open, sell to close. Oh, that sounds right. Sell to close. Read the others if you're not sure. Sell to open. Nope, not open a new position. Buy to open. Well, no, no, no buys. This is all sell. So the seller is in red. Right, sell to close. It says price is 17% below the last quote. Do you want to continue? It's just asking you as a, a a reminder that, you know what, the option price, your number seems a little bit off. Are you sure this is where you want to set this up? It wants to make sure it's trying to just let you know you might be making a mistake by putting the wrong price in. It's a good little reminder for us. So, yes, I want to go ahead and set this order up. Now we're going to get this little box that pops up on the screen and it says sell to close. Read it out loud. Sell to close one Apple May 2024 187 half call at 175 stop market. So estimated credit, $1.75 and so forth, okay? Once this is all said and done, we click yes. That order is now loaded, right? We have an order in place here now that you could see a sell to close. It's white, the blue one, which is the bottom line. It's now yellow. I just highlighted it. That was the buy to open just a little while ago. And now we have the... One on the top line that is white that we're looking to do a stop at 175 and we're stopping at market, right? If you would have set it up instead as a stop limit, 
If that would have been your choice, you only would have been taken out of this position at $1.75. If it gaps right through to $1.74 or $1.70 or whatever the number is and never trades at your price, you will not be out. $170, $150, $130, $120, $0.04, you're still in that trade because the trigger came as a limit where you said only take me out of that price. And one of the biggest mistakes traders make is they set that stop and you're not getting out on the downside, but all of a sudden the stock might recover or your option recovers and it starts coming back up and now you're triggered because it hit your price, right? So when it comes to stop limit, I would just say write a note for yourself of don't use. Let me just try to bring it home on the stop market. If I set a stop up, a stop market up at $1.75 and the option on Apple moves down and the price hits $1.75 for a half a second, it could bounce, it could drop. Maybe the stock goes from 175 or the option, and now it's at 174. By the time my order is filled, one millisecond later, however long a millisecond is, I'm gonna, I might get filled at a different price. Usually it's gonna be a slightly lower price. You've got some bid-ask spread to contend with and so forth, but you're gonna get filled at a slightly lower price in most cases. The idea behind this is I don't have to be there sitting there and watching it, which is usually one of the biggest triggers that individuals have of mistakes is they're watching the stock and they're getting ready to hit enter to get out of the position way too early. Let the stock do what it's supposed to do. You have a stop, you've got a target, set it up, walk away. So I went ahead, canceled out the stop order that we had in place so I could teach you one other order type and that's gonna be placing the order to get out of the option based on the stock price. I can't tell you when the stock moves down to this price what the option will exactly be worth but the option is gonna be worth exactly what it's worth when it gets to that price. So we're gonna set an order up based on the stock price instead of based on the option price. So we're gonna go over to the order bar and you'll see we've got a yellow bar there that tells us we no longer have an open order. It's closed out, right? We go back to positions, you'll see we still have that one contract in there. So I'm gonna go ahead and we've got Apple preloaded up here, the option, one contract, and you'll notice that there is, if yours is not open, this little advanced bar, pull it open and you're gonna to wanna to put a check mark in the activation rule box. And then there are three dots. When you click on those three dots, you've got a couple of different choices in there. First thing you've gotta choose is price. Time would be if you're trying to set an exit up that says, get me out at 3.52 in the afternoon. Just close my position out. In other words, maybe didn't hit an order, you just wanna be out. But we're gonna be out on price. But we're not going to be out on price of the option. We're going to be based on the stock. So we're going to add Apple here, and we're going to click Add, and it now adds it to our reference down below. You've got a designator that is greater than or equal to. We're setting this as a stop, so it's not greater than. I don't want to get out if it gets above it. I want to get out if it gets below. So we're going to use less than or equal to, last one. And then we're going to change this right here to 189, even right? And then it says single tick trade, right? Single tick trade, STT. There's a lot of choices in here. We're going with a single tick trade is what we're going to use. Once that is all done, click OK. Now we're locked and loaded. Everything is loaded in our order bar up here. We're shifting this over to a market order. If it didn't do it automatically, you're going to go to a market order. It's intelligent. It's good to cancel. Anytime you set a stop, you never, ever, ever want to set, I don't, I should say it that way. I don't ever, ever, ever want to set a stop just for the day because it's going to cancel at the end of the day. And if I forget to put it back in tomorrow, I have nothing to get me out. So I'll leave that order open out there. And every day I check all open positions. I could check all open orders. Just go to the orders tab and you'll see exactly what you've got, right? Everything is ready to rock and roll here. So what are we doing? We've got a market order that we're going to sell to close, right? So now we get the pop-up. It says sell to close one Apple may 2024, 187 half call at market. It's an intelligent order. It's good to cancel, right? Blah, 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 all right? Once this is done, now there is a box, by the way, that you can click that says, don't show me this. Don't do that. Let it show you. Read it out loud. Use multiple senses. You're reading it, but you're not hearing it. You're seeing it, but so read it out loud. You're seeing it. You're hearing it. You're speaking it. You've got multiple senses that you're using in there all at one time. Less chance of error. Trust me on this one. I have done this over and over again. Once you're all set, set, ready to rock and roll, you click yes, and that order is now sent. And there it is. We've got a sell to close. Uh, I'm still going to have to scroll over a little bit. We've got a sell to close. Um, let's see. Make that a little smaller. Okay, there we go. 
Sell to close, there's the Apple option, one contract at market. It's an intelligent order, good till cancel, and it's on an STT with Apple less than or equal to $189. Boom! That's it. It's not that hard to do, right? And Trade Station 10, very similar process to walk through. And that, my friends, is how stop losses work on options. And they're quick and easy to set up and absolutely critical to use with every single trade. Until next time, make it a profitable day. Stay focused on the quest of becoming a great trader. Keep crushing it. And remember, you're just one trade away. Take care, everybody. Have a great day. And click here for another one of our great trainings.